let's look at a rib structure in a rib structure the loops are alternating why because on the machine the needles are also alternating so one needle is here the other one is here so whenever knitting is happening the needles go up and down alternately if the needles are facing each other then they will clash and break because the loop arrangement is alternate here because the needles are alternate therefore if you look at the fabric also you can see that the loops are also alternating okay therefore you see there is a arm and there is a head so rib structures generally lie flat they do not show any curling behavior and the face and the back is exactly the same you see arms and arms on both the sides but when you stretch the fabric in the widthwise direction you see the head which is the head the loop which is at the back it will show as a head let's see how do you draw a rib structure in a rib structure you have one arm the arms are going over the head and arms are plated under the head you can see the needles are also moving alternate so they go up here they go down they go up you can see that and when the arms are plated underneath the heads you can see a head here so this is one arm one head one arm one head because the needles are alternating therefore you draw the needles also alternate this is the arm the one in the front the loop which goes at the back this is a head and a cross stitch is basically for arm and a zero is for the head so you put a cross for arm and you put a so if you look at here this is a arm so that's a arm this is a head that's a head arm head and head here so that many number of loops that many number of needles so you can also represent it by a straight line here so this is representing the needle or you can put the dots here so let's draw a rib structure so this is a 1 by 1 rib you can have a 2 by 2 rib you can have a 3 by 3 rib so if you want a 2 by 2 rib then you have two needles here you have two needles here if you want a 3 by 3 rib you have three needles here and you have three needles here so we'll draw this also and see so rib structures are generally used for collars hem lines so that's a 2 by 2 rib so in a 2 by 2 rib you see two two loops going together so therefore on the machine also you have to make the loops arranged like that the needles have to be arranged in this manner so that the loops are also exactly like this so you draw one head one arm one head okay complete the heads of the arm complete the feet of the see how do you draw structure and it's a good idea that you should know how to draw the structures let's draw the arms for the heads see you can see the loop coming now you get a feeling that the loops are also alternating draw the needles 
so you have a head you have an arm so this is a one by one rib so if you want to do a two by two rib two arms two heads three into two rib Thank you.